Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to another Walking Dead video. So I wanted to talk about something that has sort of uh, come out online that is actually very, very interesting. Like again, The Ones Who Live is starting to be promoted quite a bit. Uh, there's been more TV spots coming out. There's been a lot of stuff that has slowly been coming out. And I do think as we get into this next week here, I like I, I feel like the trailer is going to be out in the next week for sure. I know I've been saying that for like the last like three weeks. I mean, I guess then I was more saying like it could be out or whatever. But like at this point now... We are officially 49 days away until this show premieres. And based off of uh, the past shows and stuff, in terms of when the trailer was released, it was always 40 to 50 days uh, around there anyways from the show's premiere. So we're at that point now where this trailer is going to be out at some point within the next, like, again, 10 days, I guess, but probably the next week. I think it makes sense that it could be this week. And so it's going to be one of those things where we're just, you know, uh, which day this week. And because I don't think they're going to wait until the next week. Again, that, that's very, very close. This week kind of makes a lot of sense. So uh, January 8th, um, I'm going to say probably not that day, though we could find out some stuff about uh, Dead City, maybe. But I feel like it is most likely going to be uh, at some point later on in the week, just because I think the one thing that they will do for sure is release like a 24 hours teaser i think they'll probably post something and say the trailer drops in 24 hours i don't think the trailer is just gonna drop randomly in a day i think they're gonna want to build up some more hype for it and so they'll post something saying tomorrow or something and there'll be a little 20 second teaser or like something for the trailer or, or whatever right uh teasing that the trailer will be released like the next day which obviously builds up a lot of hype and all that. And yeah, it's just smart to do it that way. So I'm expecting at some point later this week. And then really at that point, once we have the trailer, we're going to be like 40 something days away. And then it's just interviews, uh, early reviews and all that kind of stuff. Um, new teasers and a bunch of stuff like that. So it's going to start to get very, very busy here. And the first thing that we saw here, and I'll get into it, is apparently Rick Grimes in a CRM outfit. So I'm going to get into this and also get into some of your guys' questions at the end of the video here. Because, uh, yeah, obviously, I do want to get into that here. So before we go any further, obviously, make sure to be a subscriber if you do want to get all my walk to content like this. But let's jump into this here. So I've been seeing this everywhere, but apparently the... Uh, uh, I guess the, the Walking Dead supply drops are, are I guess, are, they're out now and people are, are receiving them right now. And I'm assuming it's timed for, like, uh, the Ones Who Lives uh, show release, right? So there's going to be some promotional content that I'm assuming for that show. Probably not a lot of stuff in terms of you don't want to, you know, give away spoilers and stuff like that. But the one thing that we did actually see here is this right here, obviously. And these are, like, gift cards. So this comes with the supply drop and all of that. But, yeah, it literally has... Uh, Rick Grimes in a CRM outfit. Now, obviously, as of right now, this feels very, like, like awesome to see. This is really incredible because I didn't know if this was going to happen. This kind of connects with something that I was talking about in a previous video. But this is very, very incredible to me to be able to see this here. Um, you know, we're waiting for anything new that this is just incredible to see. So I, I think the trailer that's likely going to drop this week is probably going to have a lot of this stuff in it. So a lot of this isn't going to be that exciting at that point, but really cool to see Rick Grimes in a CRM uh, uniform, right? I think that obviously means that he is obviously at this point working with the CRM. And I think a lot of what I was saying in my previous video or videos, I don't know exactly when I, I mentioned this, but... I do think that this shot here of this person opening up this door and going inside, I do think this shot is of Rick Grimes. I think that both of the teasers that we saw where we see him going into the apartment or his own apartment or whatever, and then I think the other one where with his boots, I think they're both of Rick Grimes. And so I, I'm starting to think that the one shot that we saw of him with the boots on, that is a flashback, and we are going to get some flashback stuff. Probably a lot of episode one is going to be a lot of flashback stuff for Rick, and we might see an ending thing at the very end where it catches us up with where he's at kind of thing. And then he's in the CRM uniform and is obviously going to be really incredible to see. And so that's kind of how I see it going now for Rick. And I will say it's kind of funny because like we really have no story details or anything about this show at all. Like it's, it's funny because with dead city, we kind of knew what they were doing though. I will say we didn't know a lot of what the story was going to be until the trailer came out. We like we knew some of the villains and we do know some of the villains for the ones who live, but we didn't know exactly what the story was going to be. We we assumed that it was going to be something to do with Herschel because I know some of that stuff was mentioned by like the writers and all that or, or producers or director. I don't know exactly who mentioned it, but I know some stuff was kind of mentioned. So we kind of had an idea. Daryl Dixon, we really had no idea what, like what was going on there at all. And so, you know, obviously, once we started to watch the show, we got the story a little bit more with the ones who live. 
it's it feels like it's being a little bit more secretive, but it, it kind of isn't in a way. Maybe there's some, you know, just uh, parts of it that feel like it's being more secretive, but it's uh it's n- really not when you're looking at like previous shows. It's kind of, you know, following in line with with those shows. Like I think once this trailer comes out, we're going to know so much more of the story. We're going to see where they're going. We're going to be like, "All right, this makes a lot more sense kind of thing, right?" So, yeah, very very exciting. I'm so excited to see Rick Grimes back and just, you know, I can't wait for the trailer. I, I really can't wait. And I, I know a lot a lot of the talk right now is about this trailer, but but like it, it's not going to get a lot of talk until it's like January. It's like, okay, like when is it coming out? It should be out already, right? And so now we're going into this week and now it really it's starting to feel like, okay, this trailer has to be out now. So please release it kind of thing. Like if they didn't release it after this next week, we're going into the, the week after being like, okay, what is going on? Like this trailer needs to be out like right now, basically, right? So I, I do think it's going to be this week for sure, because uh, waiting another week is just kind of insane. Like, and if it wasn't that week, it would be the week after, which is almost the last week of January. And I can't imagine them releasing the trailer exactly a month before the show's premiere. That's just like way too soon. So it has to be in the next week. I mean, I think it would be crazy to wait the week after, but obviously we'll just we'll just have to wait and see. But let's get into some of your questions here because I, I did want to get into that. So Q&A, do you think we'll have a last stand with Rick, Daryl, Madison, Michonne, and all the others against the, the CRM? I feel like it's not going to be necessarily that. And I've talked about this, I think, pretty recently where I mentioned that I don't think the the final stand kind of thing is going to really necessarily be against the CRM. I, I feel like it's going to be more against the, like, I guess, Madame Genet and, and her group. Like, at this point, it kind of feels like they're more the villains because of what they're doing with Variant Walkers. Whereas I think the CRM, the military are more bad, but I think if you can sort of fix that issue, then you're just, you know, you have the Civic Republic and it's actually a very good place to be at, right? Like, they're not doing anything bad. It's more the military doing something bad, but most of that place is actually pretty good, right? It's just the military aspect to it that is really bad. So I feel like if anything, the Civic Republic is going to end up being something sort of just good overall. And there's going to be some battles with, you know, what's going on with, uh, I guess, Madame Janae and her group and all all of what they're doing with Variant Walker stuff, because I feel like a lot of that is like end of world type of thing, which, yeah, they're literally in an apocalypse already. But, you know, having Variant Walkers and using them as weapons like that, that's a little more intense, right? Like, that's a little crazier. So I feel like just right now, anyways, it feels like Madame Genet and her group are just, they're, they're villains, right? And it doesn't feel like the CRM are necessarily, like, entirely villains. The military is, again, and all of that. Like, like they're, they're evil, but, like, there's the actual Civic Republic that is actually kind of normal. Like, not even kind of normal. It's very, very normal, and I think most people there aren't doing anything bad. Yeah, so that's kind of where I see it going overall. Q&A, do you think it would be cool if they used the music for Rick's final episode as the opening theme song for The Ones Who Live? Perhaps a variation of that same musical piece, maybe even remixed with the Walking Dead original theme. Um, It depends on what song you're you're suggesting unless you're talking about the thing on the bridge. Yeah, that would be cool. I feel like you could easily do that. Like that's something that I think would work pretty well. Uh, That's kind of how I'm, I'm picturing the music to be anyways. Unless you're talking about um, space junk, then I don't know. I, I wouldn't want that. A space junk is really cool, but I feel like at this point, maybe you shouldn't use it anymore. Uh, I mean, I'm not against it, but like, I feel like using it in the first episode and then his final episode on the show was kind of a, a cool thing. But at this point now, just kind of focus on something new. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I, I don't think I, I talked about this in, in the previous Q&A that they're not going to be using the original theme. I really don't see it. But in terms of his, the music for his final episode, that I can see as a possibility because that's uh, obviously something that people will remember. But uh, I don't know. We'll have to wait and see, I guess. Q&A. Do you think that the person walking into the room from the short uh, teaser could be Jadis? Doubting Rick because Rick might have lost his other hand. Um, I guess it's always possible that it could be Jadis. Like, I wouldn't rule that out. Um, I just don't know, based off of sort of what I talked about in the beginning of this video, if it could be Jadis just because of the fact that I don't know. It just kind of feels like it's Rick. I feel like both teasers were of Rick. I also don't think Rick's going to lose his hand. Like, I know I did a video on that suggesting that because it kind of seemed like it. And honestly, for like the, a couple days there, I was like, oh, it really looks like Rick lost his hand. Like, like that literally looks like a prosthetic. But after kind of watching it over and over again and just kind of looking at it, it's like, 
No, it's a little like his hand is just sort of being tied down kind of thing. I think he's like, I think there's a wire around his wrist or whatever. And he's like tied to like a tree or, or tied to something anyways. And so that's why it's kind of, it just, it looks a little off, but it is his hand. Like his hand is there. So I don't think he, he's going to be losing his hand at all. So I, I personally think it's Rick Grimes, but you never know. It could be Jadis. Like that, that is also a possibility. And so, yeah, you know, as of now, I just kind of wanted to do uh this QA to finish up some of those questions. There were some questions up here that maybe I'll get to, I guess, this week uh, before the next QA, but I'll have to wait and see what this week brings. I just wanted to do something here because it's Sunday. So I just wanted to get into some of the stuff that came out today because obviously that looks just absolutely incredible. And I'm, I'm ready. I'm very much ready for this week. I'm ready to see what's going to be coming out. There's going to be a lot of stuff that is starting to happen now. So I'm, I'm so ready for tomorrow. Uh, we'll see what happens. And I guess I should say, I'm not like saying something's coming out tomorrow. I'm just saying I'm, re I'm ready for this week. I'm ready for something to start to, you know, come out at some point this week. And, and we'll just kind of see where this goes. So anyways, post all your thoughts down below. Hope you guys all enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys in the next one.